1969, a film hit the screens that would become a classic. It's a tale about two outlaws, he and his partner, on the run from the law. But what makes Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid so memorable? Well, stay tuned because there are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts coming your way. When did you first watch this movie? Or perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with it? Whether it's your first time or a nostalgic revisit, there's always something new to discover or reminisce about. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is a classic Western film that hit the screens in 1969. It tells the tale of two legendary outlaws, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, played by Paul Newman and Robert Redford, respectively. The story is set in the late 1800s in the American Old West, primarily in states like Wyoming, Colorado, and Utah. The plot follows Butch Cassidy, the brains of the duo, and the Sundance Kid, a sharpshooter with a quick draw. Together, they lead the notorious Hole in the Wall gang in various bank and train robberies, evading capture with their wit and charm. However, when the law closes in on them, they flee to Bolivia with Etta Place, played by Catherine Ross, a schoolteacher and Sundance's love interest. In Bolivia, they try to start anew, but find themselves facing the same challenges as before. Despite their attempts to live a straight life, their criminal past catches up with them. The climax of the film features a thrilling shootout, highlighting the bond between Butch and Sundance as they face their inevitable fate. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid received critical acclaim upon its release and became a cultural phenomenon. It won several prestigious awards, including multiple Oscars and solidified Newman and Redford's status as Hollywood icons. The film's blend of action, humor, and camaraderie has made it a timeless classic in the Western genre, captivating audiences for generations. In 1969, the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid achieved remarkable success, winning nine British Academy Awards. These awards included Best Picture, Best Actor for Robert Redford, Best Actress for Catherine Ross, Best Director for George Roy Hill, Best Screenplay, Best Cinematography, Best Film Editing, Best Sound, and Best Score. It received every possible award, with Redford and Ross sharing the honor for Best Actor. Robert Redford's portrayal of Butch Cassidy in the film is highly regarded, ranking at 20 on the American Film Institute's list of 100 heroes and villains. His performance is on par with that of his co-star, who played the Sundance Kid. Interestingly, Redford turned down the role of the shark Hunter Quint in Jaws, which was eventually played by Robert Shaw. The person linked to the 1969 film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid was active in the civil rights movement. In 1963, he joined the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom alongside well-known figures like Martin Luther King, Sam Lantry Davis Jr., and others. It was during this event that Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. Besides his involvement in civil rights, he started a business selling food items called Newman's Own. The products mainly included spaghetti sauces and salad dressings. Impressively, the business made over 100 million in profits. Every cent earned was given to different charitable causes. On a personal level, he was related to actor Dan Jesse through marriage. Their tie lasted from 1956 to 1976. To sum up, the person related to the 1969 film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kids show would come a treatment to social justice and succeeded in philanthropy through his food business. The connection to actor Dan Jesse adds a personal touch to his story. Starring in seven Sidney Pollack-directed movies, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid shared a cinematic journey in various films, including This Property is Condemned, Jeremiah Johnson, The Way We Were, Three Days of the Condor, The Electric Horseman, Out of Africa, and Havana. They also both appeared in War Hunt, their significance in the film world was acknowledged when the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress chose Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid for preservation in 23. Their contribution to cinema was further highlighted when Entertainment Weekly voted the movie the 30th greatest movie star of all time. Recognizing their cinematic legacy, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid continues to be celebrated. Paul Newman, who played Butch Cassidy, was 11 years older than Robert Redford, who portrayed the Sundance Kid. In reality, Butch was only one year older than Sundance. Newman, when asked about the secret to his long marriage with Joanne Woodward, humorously replied, I don't know what she puts in my food. 
Additionally, Catherine Ross, who played Etta Place, married cinematographer Conrad L. Hall the same year the movie was released. Both Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid and Tell Them Willie Boy Is Here, also featuring Ross, were filmed by Hall. Ross later married Sam Elliott, who made his feature debut in the film. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is a 1969 film that gained attention for its casting decisions. Before the roles were finalized, actors such as Steve McQueen, Warren Beatty, Marlon Brando, and Dustin Hoffman were considered. However, the parts eventually went to other actors. Joanna Pettet was initially offered the role of Etta Place, but she had to decline due to her pregnancy. After the film's release, the character Butch Cassidy's fiancée Sandra Ego arranged an Irish wake for him. This film has become a classic in the Western genre and is known for its memorable characters and storyline. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid tells the story of two criminals running away in the late 1800s. The movie became very popular when it came out, making a lot of money for the actors and director. One of the main actors who was born in Utah thought about going into politics in the 1970s. He grew up in a simple family, being the youngest of three sons. His dad was a butcher, and his mom took care of the house. In 1969 and 1970, he was voted the most money-making actor by Quigley Publications. This showed that he was really good at making movies that people wanted to see. He was consistently one of the top earners since 1963, making the list 17 times in total. The movie's success is because it has a great story, great acting, and great direction. It had a big influence on Western movies and movies in general. Many people think it's a classic Western movie. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is still loved by audiences today because it's fun to watch and has memorable characters. It has influenced many other Western movies that came after it. Robert Redford, well known for his various roles, particularly cherishes playing the Sundance Kid in the movie. This character is his favorite among many others he has portrayed. The movie itself was ranked 23 on a TV special about the funniest women on TV in 2011, showing how popular and funny it still is. It's interesting to note that Redford and Don Drysdale, a famous pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers, graduated from the same high school class in 1954. This surprising connection adds an extra layer of interest to Redford's background, showing how different paths can lead to success. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is an important part of Robert Redford's career. His portrayal of the Sundance Kid, a character he personally connected with, shows his skill as an actor and the lasting influence of the film on popular culture. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is a 1969 movie that left a mark on audiences. The lead actor, while in St. Vincent Medical Center, Los Angeles, California, registered under the assumed name Theodore Case to maintain privacy. Before becoming an actor, he attended Stetson University in DeLand, Florida, where he played college basketball and was active in student government. During the mid-50s, he worked as a lifeguard in Ormond Beach, Volusia County, Florida, before the beaches came under county control. Director Chris Columbus, who started going to the movies at age 10, fondly remembered the film as a breath of fresh air that Emil Amdarosht him in its world. 